What's going on, folks? Painless. Uh, see, the last video I did, a lot of people said that um, they wish I'd make more videos, more uploads. And I intend to do just that. Um, you see the title, of course. Um, I, uh, I don't watch a lot of news anymore. I suppose it's my... I, usually if I'm watching TV, I'm watching something on Netflix, or I'm at the gym, or I'm out doing other things. Um, and I've talked about this subject before. Men... And this is something because I get, I've also seen in the comments that I've kind of steered away from a lot of issues that I've talked about. But if many of you all remember a lot of my videos, I spoke about black folk um, a lot. And some of the things that we do that have brought on, um, you know, situations to where if we were use a little bit more reasoning, we wouldn't find ourselves in. Uh, but a lot of times, as I'm seeing, what little news that I do watch, I'm seeing is um, even when you do do that, you can still find yourself in a compromising situation. Um, and, yeah, just that. You, I mean, you can do all the right things. You can dot all the I's and cross all the T's, and you can still find yourself... Uh, in an unfavorable situation, uh, even when you've done everything correct and exact. Um, but, um, men, men, you know, I feel like a throwback in a sense. Um, and I'm not the only one. You have a lot of men out here that think this like I do, but we're, um, we're like Ronin. You know, we're kind of like outcast. Um, you know, we're few and far in between. Um, especially me being out more and dealing with a lot more people. And, um, you know, I've talked about men uh, being different now. You know, you have a lot of young men out here that... Um, <laughs> Or just not my traditional, uh, my traditional definition of men. Not saying that they're feminine, but they're they're not men in my eyes, and that doesn't make them not a man. I'm saying that they're just not what I would typify as a man in the sense that how my dad and my uncles and older cousins um, paved the way for me. Um, you know, a man, you know, a man, to me, a man's not always on his phone all the time. And I see that with a lot of men. Man doesn't take selfies every goddamn five minutes. Um, I, I have broken that down to females. And you know what's funny? Especially now that I've put it to task and I've seen the results. Women today want to control men. And there's reasons for that. Yeah, it could be the lack of what I just said a moment ago, not having a lot what I define as real men. Um, these women are dealing with a lot of lover boy, attention seeking. And I've said this about social media. Social media gives people a platform to say things that they wouldn't otherwise say in your face. And I stand by that and I see that. Um, I'm very, I'm very aware of that and how I even move on social media. Um, I make it my business not to like a lot of pictures that women put um, and we should know to understand we should understand the nature of women I mean I don't claim to know women you know definitively but I, I can pretty much understand that women they're, they're narcissistic in nature all right 
And any women that's listening to this video right now, and if you're turned off, you're pissed off, but you can, you should be able to, you know, understand women, men have a place. And I'm not saying women need to be behind men. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a chauvinist. I may sound like a chauvinist to some women, but that is not my intent. Um, I make myself, um, I, I don't like women's pictures. Um, I don't, I'm not in women's direct messenger or anything like that. Because I don't want to, first off, there's an abundance of thirsty guys out there that are more than willing to do that. And you do not need my extra like to validate you. You're not going to get that extra like or anything like that from me. I'll look and see if I happen to um, see a woman like that. You know, I'll say, oh, she's just a nice looking female. Uh, I don't subscribe to any booty type of Facebook pages or Instagram models or anything like that because I think that lessens a man. Um, it's a lot of thirsty energy going on, you know. And then we get back to um, women wanting to control men. Women want to be... Let me just back up. Women today... A lot of, I would say about 85% of women are not even worthy for girlfriend status, all right? Um, especially the ones that I've come across. Um, they're not even worthy of that. Now, they can be potential associates, um, and, I, and I distinguish associates from friends because you have to keep in mind and be cognizant of who you call your friend, a lot of people like to do that now. Oh, that's my friend and all this stuff. And yeah, my grandfather told me this years ago when I was nine or ten. He said, Everybody ain't your friend. You can I this is where I learned the word associate at nine and ten years old. So you, you can have associates, people that you high and by, mingle with every now and then and keep it and, and keep it moving. But friendship is, is, is a word that's thrown around very loosely now. Um, and to the unsuspecting person, you can get caught up into thinking that this person is, that they're friends, when in actuality they're not. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of women want to control men nowadays. Um, and I've said this before. <laughs> These women hate to see a successful man such as myself that um, has his own place, has his own money, has his own car. I've had women tell me that. I, I've had a woman tell me, you know, basically she said, you know, yeah, painless. Yeah, you got the nice job. You got the place in Hawaii. You got your own money, you know, and I, you know, it was interesting to hear her basically break down what I've already known but to hear from a woman to know that I don't need her that I you know I, and it's so it's so gratifying it's so liberating to know that because you have a lot of men out here that are lonely and need attention and they need that um, you know they really need that and it's it's you know I know guys out here getting married to women that they've married that they don't that they've only known for six months and these are guys in their 40s you know I'm seeing guys out here marrying women that don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of that's not true partnership to me, you know. I've said the next woman, and I'm not, I, I am not superficial in that sense, but you need to set yourself up for success. Now, I'm not saying I'm going out strictly for doctors and nurses and lawyers, you know. A nice woman that's got a decent job, that's fine. But, you know, if if you're making fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, and you're marrying women that are waitresses and in between jobs that are sales clerks 
and you're wife in them and you barely know them. I think I'm more on the barely knowing side because we all fall. I've done retail before. But you need to kind of mess with people in your own tax bracket. Because when you're dealing with other women or men that are, you know, put it this way. If you're young, if you're 20-something years old, it's nothing wrong with dating a woman that works at Kohl's or Lowe's and she's in school or anything like that. And um, don't get me wrong. It's not necessarily the profession. I'm speaking in stages of life. Uh, I'll be 40 this year. Don't look it. But I'll be 40 this year. I feel great. I feel 21. Um, feel young. But at this stage in my life, being almost 40, and I want you men to take heed to this. I'm not trying to deal with a woman who is taking orders at Jack in the Box. I, 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 I'm just not going to do that, especially if she's my age. I'm not dealing with the 40-year-old woman that works at Jack in the Box taking orders. I'm just not going to do that. Because it tells me a couple of things. It tells me what has she done with her life. Now, that doesn't make her a bad person. Doesn't make her necessarily a loser. But it does tell me, what have you done with 40 years? And now this is all that you've attained? I find that I don't want to deal with a woman with children necessarily, unless they're older, unless they're, I would deal with a woman who had maybe a son or daughter in college, but I am definitely not dealing woman, with a woman that has a three-year-old, six-year-old, nine-year-old. Why put myself in that situation? Why do that? I'm not going to do that. There's too much, you know. Why am I going to deal with that at my age? You know, it's 11 o'clock, it's 12, I'm trying to get some. Your child comes in the room because he or she is scared. I'm, for, I'm not dealing with that. And I shouldn't, and I'm not going to apologize for not, for, for saying that. And I'll say, you know, a lot of these women are ups, a lot of these women hate I got, you know, these women, I care myself like the guy that takes charge, in charge, super cool, mellow. I'm not super thirsty. I'm not running after you. Women say they want that, but then they don't. I tell a woman, look, and I know I've said this before, we can go out and hang, but I'm not buying you drinks because I'm not expecting anything. You got a lot of women that are, are low tiered, but you have a lot of women that are that are peasants that want queen status just because they're a woman. And I don't do that. A lot of female friends <laughs> they say, Man, painless, you're hard you're hardcore. I'm like, yeah. I I am not going to feed into this female ego society that we live in. I am not playing that game. I'm not playing that game. And I shouldn't have to. And any man out there shouldn't have to neither. You have a lot of hobosexuals out here. And when I mean hobosexual, I mean guys that are dealing with women that they don't want to deal with just to have a place to stay. And that's sad. I've been in situations like that before, but I, I'm I'm not. Um, I, I'm thankful that, and many I've shared some of my ups and downs with you all. Told you I resigned from a position for personal reasons. I went through a divorce, and I was able to rebound off that in this world that we live in. I'm trying to make moves. I'm trying to better myself. I'm not settling. All right? And that can be 
and with that being said, that can be a very that can be very scary to women because they look at a man and say, "Well, he does he doesn't know he doesn't need me." Other females are going to check him out, and what you find is women, and, and this is very critical that you understand and listen to this. When you're dealing with a woman that may not be in the business, and this is exactly why you shouldn't deal with women that are socially, economically below you in a sense. Because you're always going to have to deal with that woman's insecurities. Because in the back of her mind, she knows she should be doing better. And she's always going to feel some kind of way about you because you're successful, because, because you hold the keys, you hold all the cards, and she's always going to be like, worried about other females checking for you, oh, where you going, oh, why are you taking a shower now, <laughs> you know, I've seen this, and I dealt with that some in my uh, in my marriage when I was married. And it's very draining. You want someone on your level or more. And I've said this before. I have absolutely, and this is to show that I'm not a chauvinist. I have no problem if I had a girlfriend or a wife. I would absolutely have no qualms about her making more money than me. Great. That is lovely. Get it, baby. Get it, mama. I love that. I, I have you have guys that have issues with that. Okay. But um, I, I'm not. You know, a lot of women are scared of that when they see a successful guy, because women are all are very superficial. And. You know, why are you going to the gym so much now? Who are you trying to look good for? <laughs> you know, shit like that's how women are. And you have a lot of men like that too nowadays. You know, guys out here getting married just for the hell of it. I mean, guys have been through two, three marriages getting married again. Like, come on, man. Give it up. You know? But I wish people, you know, you know, you want to see those succeed, but you got to kind of like, damn, you know, if it didn't work second or third time, man, maybe marriage really isn't for you. But, you know, I, I, you have a lot of men that can't sleep alone at night, hate to be alone, socially awkward, and... Me, I, I I can light up the room. I've said I can sit with a room full of beautiful w women, as I do now, and not try to do anything. I ain't paying for their shit, but, you know, I can chill with them. And they, you know, they understand that. You know? And, you know, I kind of just give off this very positive energy about me. I'm a fun person to be around. Some people, you know, and you know, men nowadays are this weird. A lot of men are weird. Socially awkward and you know, this soft muscle <laughs> shit. Can't look you in the eyes and or trying to act like a man and, you know, puffing up and trying to talk loud. Like, look, man, we're just two guys doing too much, you know. And manhood has definitely changed from how I was brought up, what my definition, in my opinion, is what a man should be. And, you know, it's not thirsty. It's not letting women dictate every goddamn thing because you have that out there which goes back to control um you know i don't mark you know you i do what the hell i want to do when i want to do it a lot of men ain't doing that and it's for sex 
<laughs> I remember I told this girl, my girl, like a girl, girl, a good female friend of mine. I said, you know what? Before I deal with any of that, I got X hamster, I got Pornhub, and I got triplexn.com. <laughs> Before I, uh, you know, it may sound crazy, but you know what? I'd rather deal with old Five Finger Sally before I invest and and get the old ball and chain and dictate where how I and have a woman dictate how I spend my money, who I'm going with, where I'm going to, who I'm talking to, who I'm texting. Shit. <laughs> You hear me? So I I I just wanted to talk about that. Um, we hold the keys, man. Peace.